Wanna know how the pros make the shows that you stream? Well, you're in the right place. It's your Hollywood dream with Cynthia Shung. Hi there. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between a writer and a writer who's a showrunner. That's not always a black and white thing to explain, but let's do our best, okay? Let's go to the board. I put on the board a writer executive, aka showrunner on one side and a writer who is a writer, who's AKA known as a writer on the other side. Let's see how this plays out when you are going through it professionally and what the experience would be like. So let's first take a look at how they differentiate and what are the different things that we can list that are the, the various aspects of a writer and solely to the writer and what are some aspects to the writer who's an executive and a showrunner that distinguishes the two. So let me first start on the writer side. So a writer writes screenplays. The writer is active in the writer's room. The writer takes notes. The writer incorporates notes. The writer is active when beating out stories. The writer is not executive facing. And when I say that, I mean the studio and the network. And the writer does not necessarily read all scripts. And when I say all scripts, and I'm talking about a television series because showrunners are in television series world, not film world. So when I'm talking about reading all scripts, I mean that the writer is not necessarily reading all of the episodes of a given series. They could, it depends on the series. If every single story connects and one episode has to uh, rely on another episode, then they would of course read those scripts, but just saying not always. So if you have an episodic, something like a NCIS or something that is potentially more procedural where every episode can stand alone, your writer may not be reading all of the other scripts. Let's take a look on the writer who is an executive. So this writer writes screenplays. They are active and lead the writer's room. I'm noticing the word notes was left off on that side. They give notes and take them from the executive level. And when I say that, I mean studio and network. They are often leading, eating out stories and arcs. So when I say arcs, this is for episodes as well as seasons. So whether that be for just one or two or three or five episodes or an entire season, they are the ones that are working on beating out those story arcs. They are executive basing. They read all, they read all scripts and active on all scripts and in every phase. So when I talk about every phase, I would mean from the very beginning all the way through to the very end. So screenplays for television in particular generally begin from the standpoint of a premise. And that premise could be a one or two or three pager, then a beat sheet which is generally a couple of pages further from that and where you actually outline the scenes and the story beats. Then into an outline where you would take those slug lines that you've put out in the beat sheet and the story beats and written them out in prose. That could be 10, 12 pages, depending on if it's a half hour or an hour. Then there would be the first draft, the second draft, the third draft, and then the fourth draft, which basically is a polish. So the showrunner would be active in all of those phases. So there you have it, the differences between a television writer who generally is a writer who pretty much sticks to writing versus a television writer who is also a showrunner. Keep writing, keep being creative, and I'll see you in the next video.